What's up guys, this is Mark from DSGD again. Um, I was in a group this morning and talking to Robert and I was about to explain um, how this new feature works because he was running the get seller items feature and he wasn't sure exactly how it works and basically he went into view my view items and noticed that the listeners were showing up there were populating there so let me just explain so if you don't know already you should check out the Terapeak video and all that type of stuff um, because what we do is we use um, other drop shippers and take items sell it for less to get to sell on our eBay account right so what the link here get seller items is it's just a kind of shortcut to pull the items that have successfully sold from a seller um, in the past 30 days so when you click it you have two two fields the name of the seller so I'll use run shopping because this is the seller I used in the last video and I'm not going to give you all free sellers. And then the minimum quantity you want sold. So you want to put like one, two, four, whatever. But I usually use eight a month. But let's just put two to make sure we get we get something showing up. So we hit search. It's a bit early and I haven't slept. So if I sound kind of tired, I'm sorry. I'll try to get through this as soon as possible. And we hit search and my internet is slow. So hopefully it'll speed up and get doing what it needs to do and then it should go to step one getting items from seller and then step two it's saving the items so it said it saved 26 I'm not sure how accurate that is but let's see so if we go to home okay nothing came up under my research let's try this again get seller items another one that I use a lot is classic 365 you would have seen this before so let's try this again Two. if I ra if you ran the seller before it may not save the links let's see if we have anything showing up hmm you items let's see something is it that let me just put one hopefully something would I just want to do it really quickly there may be a slight error but what's supposed to happen is it would save the listings and the research I'm guessing the last two would be there because I think I ran these guys a lot of times for an example and that's why it's not keeping the same right that's what I thought what it was is I, I ran those guys a few times as an example so it's not going to give me the same links again um, because we don't want everyone in DSGN selling the same thing so anyway so once you run a seller he would show up in my research now what Rob also saw is that if you go into view items the research should also be there so you see the research is there as well but let's go so once you run a seller he would show up in my research so you hit this seller and then he has three three items so you hit edit on one of them the first window is going to show the, the title is going to show the eBay URL which is the URL to his item it's going to show all the images that shows up the external URL this is where you need to put the source of the item and the price so we could do one of two things we could just click the, this image to do a, an image search so hopefully we could find the source. I haven't done this before, so I can't cheat and speed up the video. But I hope that um, I'll find it quickly. So yeah, so you see there's a Walmart item here, 59.87. So let's view that. I think that's the item. 
So I remember Jen, one of the girls in your group, was saying that she doesn't like to to do um an image search. Um, let's see if this is the item. So that looks like the item. I mean, the color green is a little different, and it could just be because of the image. image but that is the right item. But before I continue, if you if you do the image search and you find it difficult to find the item, what you could do is just this is the eBay link. Open, go to the eBay link, and do it like we'll normally do it. So the item has ended, but go to the eBay link and search search for the description the regular way and we just do it this way because the image is a relatively easy way to do it but if you don't like to do the image the eBay link is here you could open it search and get the same results get the um the bike here but okay so let's close that close this so this is the first screen the eBay link the image that you could click and the external URL and the price so you want to take the link to the URL, to the item, sorry, and put it into external URL. Then hit save. What this will do, it would pull as much information. It'll, it should pull the UPC, um, MPN, all that good stuff. So it go, this is the following page. One, it gives you a suggested price. What the suggested price is, is one of two things. If the profit margin is more than 10% of the cost, it reduces your suggested price to, to account for a profit margin of 10% of the cost. And I'll, I'll do the calculation here so you can see. If it is less than 10%, if the profit margin of the previous seller is less than 10% of the cost, but it is more than 5%, it just t minuses a dollar, and that's going to be the suggested price. But again, you may have to listen to this, or, or I might have to send an actual paperwork to show you. But So the cost of the item is 59.87. The seller who was selling it before uh, nuts. Let me see how much you are selling it for. Okay, it's not allowing me to go back. But the the the, the person who was selling it before, I want to say it was like seventy nine something. So this seventy five oh nine is less. But let's calculate and see how much. So they buy it now is seventy seventy five oh nine. That's suggested. You see the profit margin is 5.98, so it, it's it's 10 percent of the cost. So that is what that's just kind of a, a, a little calculation of a suggested price that we give you. So you don't, that would also be less than the previous seller. So you don't have to worry about calculating price and that type of thing. So you want to go get the description. You may have to look at this video more than once. Get the description. Get the description from Walmart. Or from the source. It could be Amazon, Target, Wayfair, Higa Needle, Academy. You paste it. Make sure you don't have any crazy Walmart stuff in there. Price, you you UPC next. MPN, all that pulled from the Walmart link, and you hit save. Again, my internet should speed up a bit, so you all have to wait. Right. Then the following page, this is the second to last page before the listing is done. It's just, you have the option to remove the images. You could hit remove here, and then add another image if there was a watermark but as you can see there's no watermark so we're not going to remove the image and we just we're just going to hit hit save if you heard someone speaking spanish in the background is one of my friends <laughs> okay so the listing is done um this just went to the next list and i'm not going to do a second one but i'm going to when it's finished i'm going to show you what's happening you could go and do the same process for this item 
and I'll go through all the seller all that seller's items and then you'll go back to the home but so you go back to home because you finish that one and what's going to happen is going to go into suggested items you see so it's suggested so basically what the Ashini did it used get seller items to pull all the items that sold a specific amount of times then you you go through research and finish your listing once you finish it it'll come to the suggested item and then you just click it here and it should be uploaded to your um, eBay account mm. Well, this is an error because this is a dummy account that I'm using, so it, it it's it's neither here nor there. But it would be it would be um listed directly to your eBay account, and that's pretty much how you deal with well how you you first get the seller items, finish your listings, and so on. And that is kind of to explain why all the stuff was being populated. If you go into view items, you'll also see the um all the research here without seeing the actual seller. Um, same thing you could hit that and then hit edit and do the same process either search here or open open the URL but I don't think I need to go it over again if you don't understand or if you need to go over the, the training you could just go back and look at it all over again alright but I hope this helped if you have any questions about the pricing or, or anything else shoot me a message and I'll answer whatever questions you have have a good day.